give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it and I shall move the world. That is what Archimedes said back in the day and he knew the power of leverage and that's what I'm going to talk about today. The power of leverage uh, is evident in anything we do. You know, let's say you have a seesaw, for example. If you were to push down on that seesaw, stand on that seesaw, and then put a heavy weight on the other side, you could lift a lot more with that seesaw than you could just by picking up with your bare hands because you're using leverage. Now think about that in the context of life. All these rich people that you see, they're not just working hard 24-7. They're using some form of leverage in order to get there. Now, I'm not a multi-millionaire, but this is just from someone that is already successful, that has been talking about this for a long time, and his name is Naval Ravikant. He's been talking about leverage for a while, and I uh, just wanted to share this with you. The key thing is with leverage is that people use it in order to maximize their effort or make the most out of their effort. Um, when it comes to business and life and also that they can make get the most profit so for example some people might think that working hard is the key to success and making lots of money when if that was the case then it, the guy down the road in the corner shop would be Jeff Bezos but that's just not the case it depends more on what you work on rather than how hard you work but it's still important don't get me wrong, rich people would have had to work hard in order to get to where they are, but it's an important variable that we need to take into account. Um, the important variable that we need to take into account is what you work on as well, right? Because once you figure that out, then you can work on that properly and work hard on that and then see more fruits from your labor. So what are the different forms of leverage? So <clears throat> during my A-level economics, I remember coming across the different factors of production, which sum up like the various forms of leverage that we have. So you got capital, you got enterprise, you got land, you got labor. Those are the four factors of production. Now, labor is one of the oldest forms of leverage. Um, but the issue with that is that it requires someone to want to work for you and there's a lot of friction in, in order to gain it. And capital, such as money, is one of the oldest forms of leverage in the sense that a lot of the billionaires we have now uh, or over the past century have been using capital in order to make that money. Just for example, Warren Buffett and these types of people have used capital as leverage um to make the money <clears throat> so what leverage can we use which is a little bit more easier to obtain or a little bit more easier to use media and code are the new forms of leverage they are the backbone of most of the billionaires or multi-millionaires that you see nowadays if you look at mark zuckerberg larry page Sergey Brin, I don't know if that's how you say his name, Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, these guys are built off of media and code. That, that's the uh, leverage that they've managed to use in order to make their wealth. And the reason that these forms of leverage are so good is that they don't require other people or you having to convince people or you don't have to own money. You can use these forms of leverage from now you, you can you can code an amazing product you can post some content you can do that relatively simply it's just you have to put the time in and consistent effort in to either learn to code and then pr produce the products or continue posting content on various platforms so how can you use these forms of leverage to your advantage if you can code and build digital products such as apps or even websites, you can create the product once and then you can distribute it. If you can do, if you can make content 
and post the content, you can make it once and then distribute it. So these activities are permissionless. You don't require any, it doesn't require anyone's permission in order for you to use it. So the way that you can use it to your advantage is just by using it. When it comes to coding, you know, learn how to code, build products, and then upload them, create them, you know, do sorts of all sorts of things you can with them. When it comes to writing books or recording podcasts or tweeting, YouTubing, these are all permissionless activities. You can, you don't really need anyone to tell you or you don't need anyone's permission in order to do that. Let's say you wanted to use media, for example. In order to use media to figure out what you're interested in, and then once you've figured out what you're interested in, you create, let's say, a channel or a social media account around that, and you just start posting. Simple as that. It could be about fitness, it could be about, I don't know, clothing, it could be about all sorts of stuff. Whatever, whatever you're interested in, you can just start posting about it now and then build your personal brand. Um, when it comes to coding, first you have to learn to code. And then once you've learned to code, then you can start building products. But I think the main thing that you need to do is learn to code, which I can get into in a separate video because I'm currently a beginner, I'd say. And I'm learning to code and I'm using various resources. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see from a beginner's perspective, like what I'm using in order to like learn and stuff like that. And um, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to suggest for you to do. If you don't know how to code learn, if you aren't posting on social media, or if, if you haven't started posting, start now. At least that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Remember, start, then learn, not the other way around. And um, I'll leave some resources down below if you want to check out um, what leverage is and how you can use it to your advantage in more detail. Um, and also, I'll leave a link to my newsletter post on it.